All right, Rot Gang, today we're drinking Old Forester Barrel Proof. Let's hit the intro. Hey there, I'm Ed, this is the Rock Cut Review, and today I'm wearing a very nice t-shirt. Would you like to look this good in a t-shirt? Well, you can't, because I'm beautiful, but you could look something like me if you go to Into the AM and buy one of these fantastic t-shirts right now. Click that promo code ROTGUTWHISKEY in that description to get 10% off. Yes, I'm getting paid for it. No, I'm not ashamed of it. But on to business. Today we're drinking a little bit of Old Forester single barrel, barrel proof bourbon. Oh my damn. This is kind of cool. Some of you are probably wondering where my co-host Erica is. Because uh, this is bourbon and she loves bourbon. Um, I asked her if she wanted to film this with me tonight. And she said, who the fuck are you and how did you get into my house? And that's when I realized I'd walked into the wrong apartment and was talking to an old lady. But no, she actually just wasn't up for filling tonight. And uh, so I'm doing this one solo, which I guess means she doesn't get to drink any of this ever. This bottle's just for me. That's the way that works. So back in 2019, Old Forester announced that its single barrel program was gonna be changing from 90 proof all the way up to barrel proof. Wee, that's a really cool change to make. And we just got our first single barrel pick in at my store, Raisin Wauwatosa. So you guys probably already know Old Forester. Gavin Brown invented it back in the day. It was named for Dr. William Forrester. And of course they tacked old on there because old sounds better than young when it comes to whiskey. We all know this. And of course it was the very first bottled bourbon, which is such a weird thing to think about that someone had to come up with that innovation, right? Like before that, everyone was just shipping casks out and letting people bottle it wherever the hell they bought it from. But you know, someone had to think of it and it was Brown. Now, to my knowledge, I, I don't think Brown Foreman has ever released a barrel proof Old Forester product. So, this single barrel program, this is a first. This is big. And I gotta tell you, it smells pretty goddamn good. Interestingly, first thing I'm smelling is actually banana bread. Banana bread and cherries. So pretty fruity, but it does have a nice woody, burned, charry spiciness underneath that banana bread and the cherries. There's quite a bit of caramel. There is some sweetness here, but it's got a fun spice note. It's a little different. I'm thinking mustard, like a mustard seed kind of spiciness. And this is at 65% alcohol, 130 proof. There is some alcohol there, but it doesn't smell overly hot. It's not just assaulting my nostrils. It's nice. It's pretty easy, I would dare say. Smooth. Let's get a taste, eh? That's fantastic. <laughs> That's really good, man. There's a lot of charred oak on there. It's woody. It sure is. But it's not excessively tannic. It's, it's not just straight up bitter, right? Sometimes you get something at barrel proof and it's got a lot of wood on it and it's just, it's super bitter, which I like sometimes, however, it can take over. And that hasn't happened here. It's cherries and caramely, it's creme brulee. It's nice and, oh, it's just good. It's just good. And there's some spice there. That mustard seed, like I said, it's just popping up. This blah, 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 blah. And the finish, the finish is lasting a long time. It's sitting there. It's hugging me all the way down. International symbol for the Kentucky hug. Mm. This is good. It's just good. 
I was talking to the fellow who did the barrel pick on this one, because it wasn't me, and he was saying the sample they got was actually more spicy, he thought, than what they actually got in the bottle, which is interesting. You know, it's interesting that that little itty bitty sample is a little different. I don't know why that would be. But this does come off with a lot more banana bread. And I was talking about that in our super secret patron stream that we had the other day. If you're not one of our patrons, you're missing out on those. And someone was saying, oh, it's kind of like Jack Daniels barrel proof with that little bit of that, you know, banana bread smell. And I was like, yeah, it is. But there's another element to this. And I was thinking it was kind of like a Booker's product. You know, some spiciness, some oak, some of that nice heaviness. I think the difference is that the darker notes on this don't run as nutty as a Booker's product. So I would say this actually sits somewhere in the middle between Jack Daniels Barrel Proof and Booker's. It has some similarities to one or the other, but it's not as sweet as JD. It's not as nutty as Booker's, but it takes a couple elements from each of them and mixes them together, adds some caramel, adds some cherry, boom. You got this guy. And let's remember this is a single barrel, so there are gonna be differences between barrels. You gotta keep that in mind. So who knows exactly what you may find when you get your single barrel. However, if the other single barrels are anything like this one, they're gonna be pretty fucking sweet. I'll tell you that right now. So yeah, what can you say? Old Forester, fucking solid. If you see one of these, I would snap it up because if you don't, someone else is going to. This is gonna be a hot ticket item and it is going to move. But until next time, my name is Ed, this is the Rock Cut Review. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, each and every one of you, stay rotten. Thank you.